What's up guys, PJ here from 3D Printing Canada. So today in front of me, I have multiple different style build surfaces and I'm gonna teach you guys what build surface works best for which material and why. So without further ado, let's start with our first build plate. All right, so the first build plate I have in front of me is a spring steel that's textured and it also has a coat of PEI over it. So no need for using glue stick. Now these work great for um, PLA mostly. Uh, reason being is PETG, ABS, things like that can actually tear chunks of the PEI off. So if you are using PETG, at least use some glue stick as well if you're using this style of spring steel. Um, now these work with a magnetic surface and just stick to the bed for easy removal. And then you can also flex the plate to pop the print off. This one is textured. Moving on to the next build surface I have in front of me is polycarbonate. Now this is one of the most common build surfaces that come with 3D printers nowadays, other than glass. Now these actually work really well. PLA will really stick to them, but they also can stick really well to where you actually pull chunks of the polycarbonate away. They do wear out a lot quicker and need to be replaced. Some people still prefer to use the polycarbonate. Me personally, I don't use it at all. Moving on. We'll go to the glass surface next. So we have a glass surface here. Now this glass surface is a silicone carbon surface. Now on the silicone carbon side, for PLA, you don't need to use glue to have the print stick down. You definitely wanna make sure your bed is level correctly though. Um, otherwise things will still lift. Um, I'm not a fan of necessarily using that side where I'll tend to flip it over and use the smooth side of the glass. And we use Almer's washable purple glue stick. Now it has to be the purple glue stick guys, whether it's Almer's or not, uh, the white glue sticks where the glue stick itself is white tend to not work that well. So if you're not having luck with glue stick, you definitely wanna switch over to the purple washable stuff. And again, that stuff's really easy to remove. Just take your build plate and the laundry tub, your sink and wash it off. So that's glass. Next we have a Wham Bam spring steel sheet with PEX on it. So the PEX is a lot thicker and a lot more durable than PEI. So this will definitely last a lot longer. Um, through my testing though, you don't wanna use filaments like nylon and ABS on this surface because I have actually at my, on my spring steel at home started to see bubbling happening underneath the surface. So it, it, it is, eventually gonna lift if I would continue to print nylon and ABS and stuff like that on it. Works really well for PLA, TPU, we've used PETG on it. Again, you won't need to use any glue with this, you'll just need to follow the steps and procedures with the steel wool and isopropyl alcohol to clean it. So this is a really good way. If you just print PLA mostly, spring steel is absolutely wonderful just for the simple fact of popping the print off. Um, so that's the Wham Bam spring steel with the PEX on it. Uh, they also make PEI versions of it, so you could have PEI as well. Uh, now moving on to something we've come up with here at the shop. Um, so what we've got is basically like a spring steel carbon fiber. So it's like a spring carbon fiber. So it's a thin enough sheet of carbon fiber that you can pop off your prints really easy, but you can also go ahead and print PETG, uh, nylons, ABSs on here without having to worry about it breaking the glass uh, like nylon loves to do to glass. So uh, as well as you can get this piece with a magnet and then just have it like a regular spring steel sheet and be held down with a magnet. If you are printing a bigger print, let's say out of PTG or nylon or nylon carbon fiber or ABS, something that has a lot of pulling power and likes to shrink, you're gonna wanna head, go ahead and still use clips to hold that down. But then we also have the thick four mil sheets of carbon fiber. And we have these all the way up to a 410 by 410 size. So we do have most sizes to cover all the printers uh, that we carry and then some. Uh, now, the nice thing about carbon fiber, and this is my all time favorite build surface because I do personally print a lot of nylon and uh, more high temperature polymer materials. They love to break glass. They love to, when they adhere and cool down, they're not coming off. Uh, the nice thing with the carbon fiber is it won't break. I just go ahead and use glue stick on it. I've tried many different bed adhesives and for some reason, 
Uh, even some of the fancy expensive ones don't do better than glue stick, even for me with nylon. So we just used glue stick down on the carbon fiber bed. Again, it's cleanable, uh, so you just wash it off. Uh, but do bear in mind, if you do use carbon fiber, you will need an adhesive to hold it down, uh, just due to the fact that it is a glossy finish. It's also the really nice thing about carbon fiber is it's so thermally conductive. So if you use an imaging camera while you heat your bed up, you'll find that the whole bed area will go red. So carbon fiber is really good that way. Um, and because it's a sheet of carbon fiber, if you ever damaged one side driving the nozzle in and scraping the bed, you can flip it over and use the other. There also is a recommendation if you do go with carbon fiber is if you take your scraper because they most printers come with like a paint scraper uh, spatula uh, make sure there's no burrs on that spatula because you don't want to scratch up the carbon fiber it's it's still be able to print on it and put your glue stick on but you want to try and avoid that with the carbon fiber so you're not gouging or scratching it so just make sure you file or sand down any burrs or edges on your scraper prior to using it um, and with that being said, that is all the build surfaces we carry here at 3D Printing Canada. I also hope this information was helpful and useful for you. So in the future, you know, if you'd like glass or carbon fiber or spring steel, now the information is there for you and you'll know which one is right for you. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Leave any ideas in the comments of videos you might want to see in the future. See you in the next video.